This is Dr. Scott McLean, and this is a YouTube video about implant dentistry. During this case, we'll be showing how to restore a malpositioned dental implant. We're going to be using the ASC zirconia abutment, which means angulated screw channel. The angulated screw channel is a uh, feature of the Nobel Procera 2G scanner. This case begins about five months ago when I placed an immediate implant into a molar socket area. And so I put it in the furcation area, but it slid a little bit distally. And you can see that it's not ideal, but it's okay. And so we decided to leave it there and we're going to restore it. So we put some bone grafting, allograft material in, and then we just let it heal for about four months. Then we're going to put on a custom temporary abutment. So I built this out of a titanium cylinder with some acrylic and then had it so that it wasn't going to hit into the bite at all. You can see one of the reasons it slipped back a little bit because the septum and the sinus created a little kind of pocket. So, But it looked really quite nice and it was quite firm in this area. So then we had to wait. We have to wait a little bit longer because of the bone grafting and I'm not a real patient waiter. But anyway, the patient came back and then we had this uh, healing abutment on that was customized. And you can see that the tissue is actually healing quite nicely around it. And look at when I take it off, you get this kind of um, hemidesmosomal attachment occurring around this healing abutment, which is fantastic. This is exactly what we want for healing. During this impression appointment, we took an x-ray. You can see the bone looked quite nice here. And you can also see that the emergence profile would have been a problem if we didn't put the healing abutment on and shape it the way we did. So we get this soft tissue model that kind of shapes exactly the way that we wanted the tissue to shape, especially in this case where the implant was not ideally placed. In the past, I would have had the access channel coming out the distal aspect of the crown or have a cement retained option or even use a gold adapt to kind of turn the channel a little bit. But today we're going to use the Nobel Procera 2G scanner and use an angulated screw channel to try to get the channel to come out exactly where we want. So we're able to scan the soft tissue model into the Nobel Procera scanner and this enables us to see exactly how we want to shape the new abutment. So Mike, my dental technician, has taken the liberty of doing this quickly for us. Um, you can see this on another YouTube video I produced, but we actually um, designed the abutment. So it's going to follow that soft tissue contour. So below the gingiva, it's going to follow exactly the way that we want it to follow. And then above the gingiva, we're going to actually take the screw channel and turn it. So you can see here the turning action of the screw channel shown in red which shows the minimum thickness that we have to have. So in order for this to happen Mike had to do some uh, manipulation of the software which is quite easy to do. You can kind of take it and turn the channel and you can see that our goal is to kind of create a ideal channel for the functional cusp on the opposing arch. So where this is an upper molar he's got it upside down here because he likes to design like that. You can click on the ASC button and then take the channel and actually turn it and move it up to 25 degrees. So just by grabbing on the handles you're able to switch this around and our goal is to try to hit that functional cusp if it's in the right kind of location. So we're able to do this in this case which is fantastic because uh, then we're going to have the porcelain kind of rolling into the right area and uh, distributing the forces a little bit better on that screw channel. The screw channel is now pointed at the buccal cusp of the lower molar. And now we can just have our final look at the abutment and just envision the porcelain that's going to be added on the outside of this abutment to make it into a screw retained crown. Once we have this kind of all finished, then we can go and click the finish button. And this will send it off so that it's going to go to Nobel BioCare to one of their facilities for milling. So they use uh, very sophisticated equipment mill this and have it very precise. 
Once the abutment arrives back to the dental lab, the dental technician is going to take it and add the porcelain to it and make the beautiful work of art that they are so known to do and make us look good. You can take off the metal piece on the bottom of the crown and it looks like a little titanium ring with a flat surface where the zirconia is going to sit down on top and then has a trilobe which friction fits inside of the zirconia. So when this is together, this flat system takes the stress off the zirconia and then when it's fitting up inside on this trilobe, it actually makes it a, an anti-rotational effect. So when the screw goes through, it's what holds everything together. So there's no cement holding this together like some systems. This is held together by the screw going through the zirconia, going through the metal ring, and then into the implant. So the more you tighten this, the more that this structure stays together. So you can imagine if this was made of gold, it would be quite a substantial piece that had to be used to replace the bone, the tooth, the soft tissues. It's actually a lot more than just a standard crown. The ASC channel uses an OmniGrip screw, and then to put this in place, you use an OmniGrip driver. And this is really quite neat because it's a system that actually carries the screw better than any other system I've seen. They can click together and you can take this and go on different angles so you can rotate it sideways and still put the screw in up to 25 degrees. So here you can see the screw is kind of torquing on a different angle. And this is the neat part. You can put it in the mouth and then turn sideways and, and start to tighten. So taking the abutment off, we can take the crown to the mouth. We'll put the crown in. We'll hand tighten it to, to about 10 newtons. Take an x-ray, make sure that it's seated, then tighten it down to 35 newtons torque. And here you can see the blue screw. This is the special screw. It's labeled and, and you can look inside and see that it's blue, which enables you to realize that you're using a different type of uh, OmniGrip driver instead of a UniGrip driver. So this is important to write in your chart as well. At this point there could be three things that usually could stop you from seating this crown. First the contact point could be pushing you laterally meaning that you can't get the conical connection down and inside. Second the bone could stop you from seating this crown and then last but not least the soft tissue in this case in particular could be pushing you sideways and stopping you from getting this crown down into that conical connection and into the hex. If we have to check all these three, three uh, areas and then the other way we can check it is by checking the occlusion. So if the patient bites together and the occlusion feels quite good then we know that we have a winner. So here's our beautiful crown and this is what we you know, try to, to get every time. So. You know, it's correcting my problem and that's really what I need on a daily basis sometimes. So this is Dr. Scott McLean and this has been a YouTube video about implant dentistry.